Grandpa's Sweater Oatmeal Stout from Barnhammer Brewing right here in Winnipeg. Fast becoming my new favorite. And mail. Yay, mail. First thing in. 10 pieces ULN 2003, ULN 200, IC, etc., etc. Hmm. I wonder if that's what it really is. It seems pretty specific. It is 10 pieces. They're not lying. It is, in fact, 10 pieces. UON 2003 APG. Which, if I remember correctly, is an H-Bridge chip. To the listing. 10 pieces. ULN 2003, ULN 2003 AN, ULN 2003 APG, DIP 16 IC. From Servi 2014. I paid $1.33 Canadian for the 10 of these, or 99 American pennies if you prefer. And the reason these are familiar to me, and probably a lot of you, is they are the chip that's used in a lot of these stepper motor driver boards. Um, that you can find cheap on eBay. However, it was my mistake thinking that they were actually an H-Bridge. What they really are is a bunch of uh, Darlington transistors in an array that uh, just act like an inverting current driver. With diodes for switching inductive loads. How convenient. So you can use it as a motor driver. You can set it up in an H-Bridge configuration. Um, or you can just use it to drive uh, half amp loads at up to 50 volts. Cool. The next thing is shipped from within Canada, so we don't even have the customs lies to think about on it. It's a flexi thing. It's a hex shaft on that side, and it takes hex things on this side. Ah, that's for sort of, uh, yeah, I know what it is. Hang on. What this guy's for is you put it in your drill, in your, your drill, your driver, and then you put your screwdriver bit up to the other end here, except for not those double-ended ones. It's got to be more these more standard single-ended tip things like that. And then you can screw around corners or in awkward places like that or even back towards yourself that's interesting will it fit this little countersink oh it will haha <laughs> i'm sure that's going to come in handy someday flexible extension screwdriver bit shaft drill bit shaft holder with magnetic quick drive um, I got it from this seller here who, according to eBay, doesn't exist anymore. Um, so I'm not even going to bother trying and pronounce uh, this guy's name. But here we have a search that uh, comes up with a bunch of them. I bought it at auction for $1.33, uh, which is not bad. That's 99 cents American typically, so... That uh, works out okay, especially since... Oh, here's somebody selling it for... Let's see what that does. Okay, so this guy's got three colors of them, and only the ugly orange one is $1.33, so you can still get it for that price if you want to, just from other sellers. As always, search around. You never know what you're going to find. What do we have next? Description, module times one. There's more than one. <laughs> what do we have in this? We have an LCD, it says. We have a couple of 1602 LCD. That's what those are called. And an in a kit with an inductor and a heat sink and a big transistor. Kind of neat. So I guess first I'll look at these guys. So, I think I know what they are. Yeah, okay. These are the I2C uh, little backpack for the 1602 LCD modules. 
reach reach reach. Now these 1602 LED modules, or LCD modules, this one's already got one on the back of it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've got some more of those bare modules on order because you can usually get them at auction without this thing, without the backpack on them for really cheap and then just get the backpacks cheap separately and add them on. Because for whatever reason, you can usually get them separate cheaper than you can get them assembled, or at least my searching anyways. Yeah, your mileage may vary, right? Two pieces, 1602 LCD, I2C, I2C, or IIC, I2C, TWO, SPI, Serial Interface Board Module Port for Arduino. Um, as I described, yep, um, this is from Deal-like. Um, I haven't bought from this guy before, but uh, why did I buy something with shipping on it? That surprises me. Oh, wait, maybe it's changed. I did my purchase. Yeah, it was it was free shipping when I bought it. That makes more sense. Anyway, uh, US dollar forty five or dollar ninety five Canadian for the two of them. Yeah, and free shipping, of course. So let's see what all is in the bag here. Looks like there is a piece of paper in there. That's a good sign. Does it have any instructions in a language that I speak? Nope. But it does have a schematic. So we have power coming in to this MOSFET, um, VCC power, yeah, through the MOSFET, through the inductor, through the BJT, two to three turns of inductor. So that's the primary side of the coil. That's this bit of wire here. And there is the secondary, uh, which 350 turns. So that's two to three turns in the primary, 350 in the secondary. So basically a ratio of 100. If we've got 25 volts in there, well, 20 volts in there, times 100 minus any efficiency. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And the other thing in the same package from Deal Likey, um... Mini Tesla Coil Plasma Speaker Set Electronic DIY Kit Field Music Project Part. That would explain why there's a heat sink and a big transistor and a coil. Oh! The, okay, so this Tesla Coil, this was a special request from, the, from my Patreons. Um, now and again, I'll ask them uh, if they want to see anything special in my mailbags and... This is one that they suggested. So here it is. We'll have to put this together sometime real soon. So what do we have here? 15 watts, 15 to 24 volts input, 2 amps. That sounds a lot like a laptop power power supply. Um, audio input 3.5 jack. Yeah, MP3, computer audio, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this sounds interesting. And only slightly dangerous. Okay, next thing in is cell phone charger. That also may not be a lie. That's, it's not a lie. Ooh, it's a three-holer. Three USB charger. Okay, I wonder if this is going to be any more effective or less dangerous than that crappy little 18650 charger I got a little while ago. Hmm. Do I open it or do I just test it? Well, let's go and do some reading first. QC 3.0 quick charge adapter, high speed charging, smart per portect, tested quality. Right. Well, I bought it from this guy, topitem.hsl, but he doesn't sell that item anymore. And just searching through this, uh, the search listing for the exact terms that he used, I can't find the exact thing either. I found a few triple port ones, but none of them are the same shape and size. And if I just do a search, I can find some more that are... Oh yeah, I paid uh, $2.41 Canadian. So you can find some others that are equally cheap and probably equally shitty. Here's one random one that I found. Uh, kind of like that. That looks sort of like it. It's claiming 2.1 amps. The one that I got says 3.1 amps. 
we'll just find out. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what it does. So it's, there's no screw holes or anything. Um, looks like it's just molded together, but it clearly says 3.1 amps right there. Now then, is that adding all three together or can, does it think it can actually drag three amps out of one of those? Um, let's find out. First thing that happens is there was some blue LEDs lit up in there. That's kind of cool. So let's uh, plug the charger doctor in. Okay, there we go. Uh, so it's showing with no load on it, 5.24 uh, volts. So that's reasonable enough. We'll put our old friend the 1 slash 2 amp load on, set to 1 amp mode. So 0.94 and it's... Why did that cut out? Uh, 0.94 and 5.23 volts, so that's reasonable. What happens I mean, if we switch to 2 amp mode? It claims to be a 3 amp power supply. Should be able to handle it. Place your bets. Three, two, one, switch. <laughs> For zero, 3.9 volts at 1.2, 1.12 amps. And it's already down to four volts. So that sucks. And it's, yeah. Okay, so we'll put it at just about point. Uh, eight of an amp. Is that no 1.08 amps? And we'll pop this quick charge mode on here. So right now we're in quick charge two mode. Not much has happened over here. Now we're in quick charge three mode. Again, nothing's happened over here. Ah, flaky piece of shit. Is that all of the connectors, or just that one? There's quick charge two mode, quick charge three mode, uh, AFC, FCP mode, and auto. But normally if it's in quick charge mode, if it's triggering the quick charge function, the voltage should start climbing up over here. And it's doing the opposite. It's below five volts. Let's turn the amperage down just a little bit or up, no, down. Yeah, that's not quick charge anything. So my verdict on this thing, it's junk. It's a one amp charger. It's not quick charge like the listing promised. Although to be fair, it doesn't say quick charge on it, but it does say three amps on there and it can only do one before it craters. So yeah, teardown victim coming soon. <sighs> I need a drink after that thing. Okay. Thing the last, it says LED module. Tis in fact, looks like a DigiSpark. Is that a DigiSpark? That is in fact an ET Tiny 85, five volt regulator, USB connection. That is one of those DigiSpark knockoffs. Never have too many of those. Mini AT Tiny 85 Micro USB Development Board for DigiSpark Kickstarter. We've seen these things lots and lots. I paid a dollar seventy-nine at auction with free shipping from Sheng Wang Shi. He doesn't sell this particular version anymore, but he does have the more common uh, one that plugs straight into a USB port for a little bit more money. And I think $1.79 for one of them is a pretty good price considering that they're going for, yeah, two and a half dollars, give or take. And here is the assorted things from today's mailbag. Um, you know, these Yolin 2003s, they took 24 days to get here. The drill flex expansion, extension, it took a month to get here, which is odd since it came from within Canada. And I'm just looking at it right now, and I see a freaking crack in it, in the outer part. 
that's not the business end. That's just the part that protects your hand from getting caught up in it. So uh, it was cheap. We'll, we'll see how well it works when I actually need to, to uh, do some screwing around a corner. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, the ET Tiny Digispark um, took, what is that? Uh, less than a month, about three and a half weeks to get here. That's pretty good. This bogus little charger took three months. I waited three months for that piece of shit. Wow. And the Tesla coil and the I2C backpacks. Um, those will come in handy when the uh, LCD modules finally show up. And this thing, as requested by my generous and friendly Patreons, who may or may not be trying to uh, get me electrocuted. We'll see. Um, anyway, this Tesla coil, or that whole package there, took one month to get here. So, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, as usual, comments and questions down in the comment zone down below. Um, thanks to my Patreons for their continuing generosity and their suggestions. Um, if I do take requests occasionally for mailbag stuff, but only on my Patreon page. If you, if you put it in the comments down below here, I'll say, yeah, that's interesting. But if you, uh, if you're over on Patreon, I have a reasonable likelihood of, uh, of grabbing something that you've asked for, assuming that it fits the usual criteria, uh, cheap and bought from someplace that I can use PayPal. Thank you everybody. I will talk to you later.